Welcome back, awesome Axley fans and subscribers. This is going to be an epic epoch capsule toy review. I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 13, 18 capsule toys from epoch to review. These are in the 118 scale. Uh, some are going to be the same. We need two or three kits to make some different stuff. Now, I recently reviewed the epoch capsule toy horse, which is really good. And I'll put that in the suggested videos here somewhere. And I really think you should check that out if you're into 118's girl. Because it's so cool. This android sort of horse. Really, really nice. And here I have got some transport like... Um, like those sort of hoverboard things. Um, and you can make like a go-kart and like a modern sort of tricycle bike. Motorbike. Cameras, umbrellas, furniture and some samurai armor. I've got 18 things in total. Uh, so I'm going to do all of these at once and I will be using them with a variety of different 118 scale toys to see how they work. I'll be using mainly a uh, Epoch Capsule Toy Android because that's the same line, same manufacturer, what, who should work with. And I'll put again his review in the suggested videos. These are really, really cool. I've got, I don't know how many I've got. I think I've got about seven or eight of them now. Uh, so you can check out him and all the other figures I'll be using I'll put in suggested videos too so you can check those reviews out as well okay so let me start with the samurai armor first of all the rest I'm just going to push slightly to the side so you can see and I can see what I'm doing let's move those a little bit put that on over there a little bit okay how are we doing that is okay okay so the samurai armor uh, looks really cool. I don't know if it's wearable or if it's like a statue which you assemble. I'm hoping it's wearable. Let's have a look and see. Okay, so instructions. That looks really nice. And you get different types as well. I might have to buy the other types, particularly if it's wearable. It does not look wearable. Or maybe it is wearable. Let's have a look. I'm quite excited about this. It's got a bit of weight to it, so I'm thinking it's not where... It, ah, yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. So, the mask and helmet, you can do wearable on some toys. Or you may have to do a bit of a hollowing out work to make that work. Uh, the arm is not wearable, unfortunately. Uh, which is a shame. But nonetheless, it's going to look pretty cool. Is it that way? It must be that way. Um, that will go there. And he does come with like a mini sword, I guess. Let's have a look. Be careful with my uh, sharp knife. Don't cut myself or cut the toy. Oh, no, that's for his, uh, for his helmet, sorry. So that will go on like which way? Downwards. Upwards. That does look really nice. And then this here is just a foot plate, or how does that fit in? That'll go in that way. Okay. And then this will just go into his head here. Okay. That does look pretty cool. Scale wise, it's quite small. Um, you would definitely have to drill out that back to make it fit, but if I just rest that on top of him there, that will work very, very easily, very, very well. Ah, oh, and the faceplate comes off too, that's nice, with your uh, 118 scan. It's worth noting that this part here is purposely not centralised, so that will be a slightly longer this side than that side. Yeah, hollow it out, and that would be really, really nice. Um, it might be worth casting it and then hollowing it out. I think it'd be easier on a casting resin than on this soft plastic. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, if I take this is one of the Fox Hunter figures from Joy Toy, Joy Toy, really good one in scale female figure, very very nice. Um, again, it's just the videos. A bit of work, and she could wear that. You can make samurai stuff out of this. Really really nice. And so I quite like that. I'm disappointed that it's not wearable, but I guess I was expecting too much. But that helmet and faceplate part is really nice. And the faceplate, again, if I put it over her. Oh, 
is perfect perfect scale we need a lot of work to make it fit in fact it'd be easy just to make the helmet fit and that keeps slotting in and the head will fit in that gap there so it'll just rest over and fit like that but that's pretty cool I quite like that let me put that over here okay that's the samurai done down next I will do the furniture stuff that should be interesting let me see so here okay this is like a uh, trolley to move things around not a shopping trolley like a box trolley pretty cool I'm gonna see how well this scales I'm hoping it scales really well we will see quite easy to build judging by the look of it just a clip on like that and then this will go the same way backwards yeah that looks like it's gonna be a, a really really good scale for 18 but I didn't get any crates I will consider getting crates if I think if I like this and I'm really I'm um, liking it so if I can use it with the it looks a bit big actually but if I use it with the uh, toys that they make Now the hands on these don't grip tight, which is a shame. Let's do it that way. But they are quite rubbery, which is nice. So you don't worry about breaking the fingers. Actually pretty cool. I do quite like that. Uh, again, if I use the crossbar thing, and she is a little bit shorter than him. she got quite rubbery fingers, not as rubbery as his though, so she'll be okay for her. She can be transporting some, some ammo around and some other stuff around and so forth. It just feels a tad too big. Um, if I had a much bigger, have I any big or 18 scale figures? No, not really. Uh, if I take a Fortnite figure, again, this is a female and she is about the same size. It still feels too big. Um, which is a shame, just making his hand. You know, you couldn't even make the handle shorter unless you. Uh, make that shorter and that shorter and reattach that because you need the bottom part to attach here because it is such a nice looking sort of trolley there just was slightly too big for this scale if I take an acid rain thing I'll take the prospector again in the uh, suggested videos be no problem for her to uh, hold Of her grip, but again, it just feels slightly too big for 118. That is the only issue I've got. So, I may get some crates, but I don't think I'll get another one of these because this feels slightly too big. It's not even 112, it's way too small for 112. You need to have sort of sort of your uh, more towards your four, four point one, four point two inch writing scale figures to use this with, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, next, let me see what's this one here. I have no idea. I think it's a table, maybe. Let's get my uh, razor again to cut the tape. Okay. Oh yeah, this is a nice looking table. Okay, that does look pretty cool. How's it scale? Let's look at the uh sorry, look at with the crossfire figure. Yeah, that's really nice scale. Great for your dios there. Let's get it standing straight. With the epoch figure, again it scales very well. 
with the acid rain prospector obviously it's going to scale well as well and with the fortnite figure which is the i think it's ravage or revenge um, it does scale particularly well as well so that is really really nice i do like that a lot uh, next i'll keep that on i'll keep that in camera because next is a chair so we'll see what the uh chair is like and it's a wheelie chair so that should be interesting and this is in one piece which is nice uh, so it shows some other stuff there which is cool so you got you see you've got stools that stack you got wheelie chair folding chair this table the brown I've got computer one and a lamp one which I may get as well because they do seem to be really really good and these were costing around about anywhere from 25 to 75 RMB 75 they've got like two or three that go together to make something which we'll see later so but this chair looks like it it looks a bit small but I think that's just my imagination Okay, so it does spin, the wheels don't turn, but you wouldn't expect that. It doesn't go up or down, but you wouldn't expect that either. Obviously, I think they're small. How does the droid sit in it? Because they are quite, or the android, they are quite, well, relatively tall. Actually, it does look pretty good. A little bit small for them, but it does sit very nicely. I think the crossfire figure will sit even better if articulation allows it to. Yeah, that is really decent. That's a nice chair. The Prospector will sit really well because the articulation forwards on their legs is like some of the best you'll see in 118. They've got some amazing articulation. Let's get a feet straight as well. Arms up. Yeah, look at that. Let's get the feet flat now. That is really, really good. They, that works so well together with her. And then let's try Ravage. Uh, again, the great articulation for forwards, so she'll sit down nicely. Her clothes shouldn't get in the way. Or do they? They do get in the way a bit, which is a shame, but she still sits very nicely. Though having a uh, knight sitting at an office chair with a table does seem a bit peculiar. But that still works with her. That is really good. I am going to get more of those tables and probably some more of the chairs. I do like that a lot. Okay, that's the furniture done. Let's look at the umbrellas. Now, there are open and closed ones, but I didn't, I wasn't lucky enough to get any open ones. So, first one here, I get two umbrellas, it looks like. And it shows open umbrellas, which there are two of, several closed ones I've got, and a rack which I've got two. So I wouldn't mind getting an open one or two. Let's have a look. Sadly, I'm not quite keen that sort of clear plastic green one. So scale wise, how big are these umbrellas? Not too bad, not quite that long one where you use it like a walking stick. Um, it's a bit short than that, but it still is a good scale umbrella. Um, but maybe not so great for his hands to hold. His hands are a bit too weak to hold this to grip. So if I go back to the acid rain figure. Get to stand up first. Actually should look at that. 
like it was made for her. Hold the umbrella really, really, really well. I might be tempted to paint that all black, maybe. That is a nice looking umbrella. So we know that they will fit the scale well. Um, here I've got the rack, I think, and another identical white and black umbrella, it looks like. Yeah, so same umbrella, plus I get this little umbrella rack. I wasn't going to get any umbrellas, and I thought, you know, why the hell not? Let's just get them. Um, and this fits six umbrellas, and that does look pretty cool, has to be said. Great few dioramas. So I am liking that. And I've got one more umbrella set. It looks like just a blue umbrella, maybe, which is a bit unusual. Normally, you have two umbrellas in this. Oh, no, there's another one in there. There's a clear, totally clear sort of a stealth umbrella which I'll be painting in distant future I'm sure so same again same mold same everything just we have it in blue and we have in white again Oop, there we go I can fill my little rack up so I could have the uh, office tables and chairs and then an umbrella rack somewhere nearby great for the aromas i do like that a lot i don't I, I think i'll get a couple of open umbrellas but other than that i won't get another rack or any more closed ones i don't think okay so let's go on to i think the cameras next so the transport stuff can take a lot longer um and these will be very similar, because I've, I've got five of them. So let's see what they are like. They look like they could be a touch big. Uh, camcorders and cameras. This one comes with a tripod, it appears. I do apologise, it's going to be a long video. We've got 17 minutes in already. Okay, so this is... Is it a tripod? We've got another tripod here. Maybe it's just two tripods. Uh, okay, so this one is the tripod. Oh, this is so cool. Look at this tripod. And this comes up as well. And then you've got your little attachment. So this is actually a camcorder here. And these are the legs for the tripod. That is so well thought out. That is absolutely awesome. So my camcorder will fit on here. Which way? That way. There. I'm now filming you, so be careful what you say. Please make your confession. Okay, so the great thing is you can make this smaller for your smaller scale figures if you're doing 112 this will be a bit small but it will go up quite high so that could work for 112 too that is really really nice that tripod thing is so well thought out you can rotate your camera you can go uh, you should be able to go downwards a bit stiff there we go and upwards that is great i like that it's really really nice and the screen on the other side is blank, but you could print something tiny and stick on there, maybe. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Paint it up, that'd be amazing. I do like that a lot. Let's put it over here. It shows some of the other cameras, but I will look at that in a second if I haven't got one. Uh, next camera. So these are 25 RMB each. Chinese money plus... Uh, I think it was about maybe 12 or 20 RMB postage for all of them together. So this, this, this looks like it's the same thing again, which would be well, slightly different maybe. So look, same tripod, which I don't mind because that is cool. Did I get the same camera? It looks like, no, no, this has got a different lens on it. Okay. Maybe when you camera buffs can tell me what these are, so 
Okay, so I've got a more like a DLSR camera here, and I've got a yeah, look at that. A lens on there, and I get the same awesome tripod again. That is very, very nice. And the great thing is that this camera, actually this camera is quite hard to hold for a figure because there's no grip things apart from here and that's really quite wide. Uh, even with rubbery grips, I think Acid Rain will struggle to hold that unless the hand is wrapped around. Uh... Yeah, it's not gonna hold that at all, which is a shame. It'd have to be on here. But you could modify that. You could have, you could add um, grips to the camera if you wanted to. Hmm. Interestingly, this has got a pen. Is it pentagonal? Yeah, pentagonal hole. This is a round peg, and it's not. Oh, I don't like. Does fit on. There we go. Again, that does look pretty cool. I'd like that as well. Uh, next one. So many to go. We have got here. Let's have a look. Tripod again. This time different colour and it's a different camcorder. So I won't make this one up again just to save time. But the camcorder does have, look at that, fold out screen. Does the other one have a fold out screen? The first one, have a look. And the first one I think, yeah, you can fold out the screen as well. This is the same but it's in black. So that's still pretty cool. Put that over there. They really put a lot of thought into these, really. This is awesome. Uh, this one here, let's have a look. We have the tripod again. Uh, it's the same as the gray camera here. But it's in black, so I won't open that, and I'll save time. And then we have one more here, which is definitely different. Yeah, that's, God, that's a huge lens on that. Uh, maybe the camera's the same, but that lens is massive. Uh, um, They do a selfie stick as well, so that might be interesting to some of you. Okay, what this is here? Is this a selfie? Now this is the selfie stick here. I can see, and then I'm not sure why it comes with this camera. It's a huge, huge lens. I mean, look at that's just, that's like yeah. You want to? Oh, it comes with a strap for the neck as well. Awesome. This is like, yeah, that is like phenomenal. The strap is great. <laughs> That's just massive. It's a tad big for 118, but that does look really cool. Um, then here, let me look at the picture. Oh, it comes with a mobile phone. That's a mobile phone. Paint that up and got your selfies. That is really, really nice. Um, so, the only thing I'm missing is exactly the same camera as this, but in grey, which I'm not going to bother to get. They, these are really, really nice. Okay, now the part I'm probably most excited about is the transport stuff. Um, I'll start with this. I'm not sure what this one is. With this one first of all. It's loads of It's quite weighty for an epoch capsule toys only one no, two bits of tape uh, or three bits what is that 
I think that's the go kart, maybe. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, I think this will be the go kart. Oh yeah. Um, if it's not the go kart, be most of it. It might need two bits for two kits to build this. Maybe we will see. Well, here's, yeah, that's definitely the go kart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the camera. I'm going to make this and come back and it's done because this video is already 25 minutes and if I make this and do the other ones, it looks like an hour review. You guys get well bored, but this is definitely worth catching up. Uh, sorry, watching and seeing what this is going to be like. So I'm going to pause this, make it and come back when it's done. Okay, see you in a bit. Oh, hello. I am back and that is amazing. Look at that. That is awesome, that little go-kart in a capsule toy <coughs> excuse me now obviously it's <coughs> made for the android so they should fit in very well the steering wheel does bend the foot pedals here do move as well which is pretty cool um you'll fit in very nicely that will come down and then he should be able to grab oops let's get his feet in again grab the wheel quite easily One and two, I'm hoping. There we go, come on. Get the arm to bend the right way, and if you go to grab it. That does look really, really good. And it does come with a helmet, or it's more like a baseball cap with a huge beak, which seems a bit strange, and he can wear that. Um, I like that. How do other waiting scale figures fit? Um, well, the hat is going to be huge on her for a start. Let's see. She's a bit shorter, so I think maybe it might be slightly easier for her to fit in. But would it affect her arms and if they can reach the wheel? That is the question I'm most worried about. Let me see. So fitting in is no problem. So I'm about to make her come a bit closer so she can actually get to the wheel. Lean her forward slightly. Yeah, there will be a bit of an issue, but she will be able to do it if you just change her pose a little bit, which I don't want to do just yet. So that again is pretty cool. I think it will be easier with the Acid Rain figure, maybe. I'll take her backpack. Actually, I'll leave the backpack on. That will make her closer to the actual wheel. Uh, it should be easier for her because articulation is superior. Will she fit in with all the stuff? Yeah. And she'll hold her quite easily. The only issue is to get, once she's holding the wheel, is to get her feet into place. Which might require a simple bend in the knee. It might require two bends in the knee, actually. Or three. <laughs> Not quite got her leg in place here, but she does look really good in there. That does work really, really well. I like that a lot. That is amazing. That's 
I'm going to have to get one or two more of those, despite the cost. They are really good. Uh, these ones might have been around 75 RMB, but that is really, really, really nice. And it comes with the quite nice paint, the red, the white, and the black. And the uh, plastic, and you could add more paint to that, to the exhaust on the back there, and the, the foot pedals and everything else. But that is really, really nice. I do like that a lot. Okay. Next transport, uh, I think there's a, one of those hover things. Let's have a look. Hoverboard, maybe. Let's have a look. Yeah, big wheel hoverboard. Or said right even okay so this will go which way that way into here or will it no it won't hmm aha uh -huh, that comes up I'm so silly okay then this will go in that way that way okay now to balance it it does have this thing on the bottom it appears to go in like that maybe as look a quick look at instructions to tell me how that is not particularly clear. Uh, let me look in the uh, pictures, that'll be better. Okay, on the pictures, that is underneath fixed in like that. But I have no idea how they fix that in. Because that is just resting there. There's no points that I can see to fix it. Maybe it's just maybe it's just a stand, not an actual fix in place. I'm not sure. Okay, so scale-wise, let's look at our droid again. Yeah, perfect. Let's look at our joy toy. Slightly shorter than him, but again, that will scale. That is awesome, Scott's almost ideal standing up. Look at that. Just got to hold the handles and the way she goes. <laughs> Looks cool. So we know that will scale very well with our Acid Rain, and we know it will scale very well with our Fortnite figures as well. Very good. And the Fortnite, just to show. Again, very good scale as well. That's cool. I'm going to keep that to one side because I might need to take that apart in a minute, maybe. But I should have enough parts without taking it apart. Um, what's this one? Next one is opened up by itself. Oh, this is like a single wheel one. This is so cool. Like a single wheel motorbike, a monobike. Very easy, just a wheel and a stand. Now it does have two notches there. I think that's when you make it into a big one, and that will go very nicely there. Um, let's go straight with the. Uh, crossfire figure see if she can cope the handles will be a bit big for her hands in fact I'll go to the acid rain since the hands are slightly bigger and they're slightly more rubbery the hands on first because they'll be tight quite uh, tight then concentrate on the legs after okay that 
Kusle. Oh, and that one's there too, but it just came apart then. Uh, where does that go in that way? And away she goes. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's keep that to the side. Now that's come apart because you use it for the. Oops, wrong way. But I will building stuff a bit later, so let's put it over there. Next, which is different, is the uh, small wheel hoverboard. Okay, very easy. And I believe there are two variations you can make in these things, but I will see. So we get a safety helmet of this one, which is pretty cool. Uh, a little bit big for her head, but it still fits. Uh, great for the droid's head, because that's what it's made for. And it may even fit on the acid rain here because it's slightly bigger. Ah, a bit too big for her. Okay. So, very simple. Just a hoverboard. I think it doesn't have anything extra that will go with it. There is this part here which doesn't fit on anything as far as I can tell. You could use it as a stand, I guess, but... That's for one of the other things you can make. But that does balance by itself. But you'd be very difficult to balance a figure out without anything to support it. Okay, then we have the big wheel again, which we've seen already. And we have, what's this? Oh, this is a scooter. This is different. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video again and make the scooter save your time. It's already 37 minutes in, nearly 38, and be back when this is made. So give me a second and I'll be back. The scooter is made, and oh my god, this is amazing. It's so well done. Little stand can kick down. You've got the free wheel motion, but obviously it will fall over. And also the seat opens to have a storage space inside. They thought so much about this, and again, it's all those little capsule toys. Uh, let's go straight to the crossfire figure. This one should be quite easy for her to fit in. Let's see if her legs will go up enough. Let's have a look. Maybe her articulation is not going to be quite enough for this. No. Uh, needs to have more upwards on the thighs. The acid rain should do this. A lot easier. There we go. Fits in almost straight away. Can hold the handles easily. And she's good to go. Look at that. You can put any of her honey she finds, she's AMM in the uh, storage part, uh, compartment or put a gun or something in there. That is really quite cool. Very, very well done by her uh, epoch there. Okay, so you've seen all the stuff I've got except now using some of the kits I can make. That, that, or that. So I'm going to make them and then show you as I've done them. Uh, there should be instructions on how to do these here. That's instructions for that one. Are they two the same? Okay, only two, not three, sorry. There's two I can make there. So I will do those and I'll show you as I've done them and we'll see what you guys think. So back in a moment again. So here's the first version, pretty cool, you can ride it like that, a little seat part. Uh, but I'm looking forward to the uh, next version which is a bit more sci-fi. Uh, that is, that, I like that, that's pretty cool, looks pretty cool. Um, again, I think any of the 118 scale figures will fit this quite nicely because it's not any real stretch that does come apart on this side quite easily. 
uh, and I don't want to glue it unless I buy loads of these things so I can make spare ones. Again, that's quite easy to hold that, whether at the top, on the sides, and they fit in quite easily. It's just a lean in. That does look pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to make the second version and come back, and then we can get this video finished, and you guys can go, <gasps> and breathe. I said, back in a second. And the last configuration is super cool, but it keeps falling apart. And neither the Crossfire figure from Joy Toy or the Acid Rain figure had the articulation to fit in this properly, but the Epoch one does. I mean, that's so like Akira. You know, into Acid Rain, you think that's more like a, a manga sort of a vehicle. That is so, so cool. Very, very nice indeed. But again, the front joint comes off and the wheels pop out, but it's almost worth buying the parts just to glue this together and make one of these. It does look so good for your 118 scale uh, figures. Great stuff. Okay, so you've seen loads of stuff and it's probably bored you to tears and I apologise for that. Um, but I do hope you have enjoyed it and given you some ideas of some of the stuff that are available and you can buy. And for better luck, there'll be a lot more of us with 118 scale dioramas going on and all sorts of bits and pieces that we can stick inside including cameras and selfie sticks and, and whatnot okay this is the awesome match toys signing out saying please like share and subscribe i'll be back to the more awesome match toy videos for you stay happy and keep collecting and please click on the notification icon to the date as it uploads videos reviews etc bye bye